Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back or welcome to Subnautica. In the last episode, we explored the island to our west, no, south, and we got three seeds. And I hope they still work, even though that they are going to be rotten. Otherwise, we will just have to take another trip back. Uh, not too big of a deal. However, that also means that in this particular episode, I wish to go ahead... Thank you for the interrupt uh, interruption, computer. Uh, I wish to go ahead and expand our base. However, I have done some research and stuff. And I don't think we are... I, I don't think I have everything found that I actually want. Basically, what I'm missing here is some sort of platform that you can, can use to uh, increase the structural integrity. Which is a big part, because we don't want leaks or anything in the space. So that's one thing that I do need to consider. And then another one is the vehicle bay, which is the place where I use to uh, charge vehicles and upgrade them. I am apparently missing that, so that's not ideal. But what I'm going to go ahead and do to start things off with is grab a bunch of titanium, if, if I can. There we go. It, believe it or not, I'm still getting used to how this game actually works with interactions. Um, <laughs> but yeah, one thing that is really bad for structural integrity is glass compartments. So I'm going to replace that with a normal tube here. And then we should be able to go ahead and add windows, basically. I don't know if that is going to have... Just as much negative, if not even more, maybe. I don't actually know. Let's see. So that was minus one for the for the tube itself. Then minus two for the windows. And if I were to go ahead and get a glass compartment, for example. Which I don't have enough glass for, apparently. Which I will go ahead and fix immediately. Oh boy, it is darkness. Alright, glass compartment. And let's see, that is going to do a minus two. Okay, so this is actually worse. All right, got it. So I will take that back right off the bat because I do I do feel like I want glass stuff. Question is, do I really want tubes? I don't think I need tubes to connect stuff together. Um, and that is a problem because I want my storage room to be right in front here. But I guess it's fine. I, th I think it's fine. Um, right. This is fine. This is going to be that. I can deconstruct you because I don't actually want that there. Instead, what I think I want is a multi-purpose room over here. Like right here. And this is then going to be, in theory, it's going to be my storage, I think. That is my current uh, processed plan. And leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Agreed. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. I actually like that. But yeah, this I think is going to be my storage area. We can then potentially hook it up with the scanner room with more um, pipes maybe from above. I just realized we have this here, so we probably can't have a door there. Definitely want the windows in here, though, as many places as possible. So I think what I apparently need to do is get some food together, get some water. And I think we need to go on a mining expedition because I don't have a whole lot of copper, which I need. Um, basically, I'm lacking a bunch of stuff, which is not ideal. So for now, I think I'm just going to offload a bunch of stuff. And then I guess we'll go on a little bit of an expedition. Also to see if there's even more stuff that we can find. Maybe actually I can set the scanner to work while I'm getting some food. Uh, power to 36 out of 75. That should be fine. Um, stalker tooth? Maybe not. <laughs> uh, metal salvage would indicate I guess would indicate where there could be potential wrecks where we haven't actually gotten scanned stuff yet. For now, while that does that, I'm gonna go ahead and get some food and water. Which is really easy during the nighttime because these fish right here, they don't try and run away from you as easily. Can I scan you? Ooh, I haven't scanned you yet. Get back here. Rabbit Ray. Okay. You look cute. Probably is cute. 
Oh. Zero power. Okay. Well, uh... Scanner room is down and the fabricator is also down. I... Yeah. <laughs> I need a better way of getting power, don't I? Okay, I think I have what I need. I'm going to bring the radiation helmet just in case, but I really don't think that I'm going to be needing the sea glide. In any case, the battery is almost dead anyway. I don't remember. Oh, that's how you... Is that how you... No, that is not how you do it. That's just swaps it between them. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the batteries is actually used for that. I don't actually remember how you go ahead and recharge something. Uh, no. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think I need that. So, I don't think I actually set the scanner room to scan again, did I? That might be an oopsie. No, I did not. But we can't... Ooh, wait, fragments. We can scan for fragments. Ooh. Okay. And one, one thing. This would be really, really cool. Scanner room. Not that. Where is it? Well, there we go. Scanner room, hot chip. But I need magnetite, and I don't actually know where to get magnetite from. Okay, so if we are here, that means it is in a southeast-ish direction. So I guess if I just take the sea moth and then go ahead in a that-ish direction, I think. Welcome aboard, Captain. One thing I need to be careful of is not to use too much of the power from this because, again, I don't have the vehicle, but... Uh... Uh, I... What are you? No, no, no. No, what, what I... What... What are you? Is the real question here. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, that's creepy. Maybe there's some wreck over there. Um, right. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna ignore that. Pretend that that never happened. That was weird. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, we definitely have some wreckage here. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, time to see if there's something to scan. In any case, we'll get, hopefully, at least a little bit of um, titanium from stuff that we have already previously scanned. If there's any of that stuff. But yeah, the stuff that I'm primarily looking for is vehicle bay thingy and platform. Um, but that, yeah, if whether or not we'll find that, I don't know. But I think that was the fragment that actually showed up on the scanner. So I guess now we'll go back to the scanner. Well, I mean, if you insist. <laughs> we'll go back to the scanner and see what else has potentially come up. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a... Okay, so apparently if we just go in the east direction, there are going to be plenty of fragments. Okay, I'm just going to cancel the scan now. Because we know where to go now. Ish. We know where to go ish. Um, but yeah, th this game is getting creepier and creepier every time... I play it. <laughs> Last time it was that... Oh. Last time it was that a weird alien stuff. Now... I had some weird hallucination. I don't know what it... That... Hmm. That... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's... It's get, It's creepy. It's getting creepy. I'm just stopping here because I'm also going to be needing stuff like this. Definitely going to gather this when I see it. Oh, I stopped here because this looks interesting. Unless it's deadly, filled with the, the mine fish or whatever we were gonna call them. Uh, plenty of quartz though. Ooh. Sandstone, silver. Yep, I'll take that. Another fragment. Already got that though. Inventory is already getting full, huh? I love the, I love the ambience in this game. Like just doing this. <laughs> oh, radiation detected. Uh, uh, radiation helmet on. Uh, oh, you, you just take that. Okay. That's true, though. I haven't been in this area due to the radiation. Found some wreckage over here. Maybe the, I don't think I've actually been in this area. I might have, I might not have. There's definitely a lot of sea glide fragments, that's for sure. 
And hopefully the radiation helmet is doing its job. Oh, that's you. Hi. Ow. Yeah, that's not a... Ow. Another one? Yikes, and I don't have a med pack on me. That's not cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's where it came from. Okay. Well, that's... That's that, then. Oh. Okay. Uh... Is that... That looks like a big wreckage over there, actually. Ooh, coffee vending machine. I mean, I'm not a coffee drinker. Maybe it can be converted into a dree... Into a dree... A tea vending machine, maybe. Potentially. Probably not. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a wreck, all right. A fairly big one as well. I think I have been here though. Oh, office chair. I do think I've been here. It does look familiar, and I have had this radiation helmet for quite a while now. So maybe I have been here. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep sailing around until I find stuff that I haven't found before. <laughs> Titanium. Ooh. Okay. Kinda cool. Oh, a supply crate. I haven't even... I've barely moved. Oh, first air kit. Oh, that is a welcome thing indeed. Wow. A very welcome thing. Okay. What? Oh, hi. Oh. Oh, wait. Where cl uh, I am sensing hostility and also... Oh, we're getting close to... Oh, we're right next to the Aurora. Okay, no kidding with the uh, radiation warnings. Okay. I think, you, I think you're fine. I think you're fine. I don't know how close to the Aurora I actually want to get. I'm just out here trying to find the, the blueprint stuff. I don't know how close to this thing I want to be. And I don't think there's a whole lot of stuff to be actually looted. It is feeling very hostile. Might I add. I think I'm gonna slowly loop around to my base. I don't feel like I'm ready for the Aurora yet, you know? Oh, another... thing. Ooh, water. Well, that's nice. I do kinda need that, actually. <laughs> But yeah, I don't, I don't feel like I'm ready for tackling the Aurora just yet. Um, I do want to see if there's any other, like, sal salvageable stuff in the area. Especially deposits of stuff. Hold up, what's this? Cyclops Bridge Fragment? Oh. Okay. Yep, we're going to keep going this way. <laughs> we're going to continue this direction. What's that? Mobile vehicle bay frag. Oh, we already have that. That's not the one I was looking for, apparently. Oh, hi, fellas. Well, scanner room fragment. I guess we already have that, kinda. Scanner room fragment again. I mean, we will need more titanium for what we are about to do today. So I guess that's fine. And that music is not creepy at all. Let's try and descend down here real quick. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, it is pretty. But I do need different ores as well, though. Quartz, especially quartz for glass. I do think I have quite a bit of quartz, so I think that's fine. Oh, you're tiny. Hello. Oh. Oh, radio. Ow. Okay. <laughs> I guess let me look for ores, and I will... Oh. Okay, this has potential for a lot of caving. Mining expeditions. I do need to take care of my... Let me do that. I think that's fine. Okay, let me get more air. And let me go in a little bit. Just a little bit. See what we got. You know? Get oxygen. Get out. Dive down. Very easy to get lost, though, I feel. I just need to remember, go north if I want to head out of here. Ow! Piranhas or something, huh? Uh, oh, still inventory full? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'll eat. I'll eat all my food. I'll eat all my food, I guess. 
<laughs> well, I guess there's no point really going in here if I don't have much space. Yeah, it's just a bunch of resources. That's really good to know, though. I do need to pick up beacons or something. Get beacons made so I can place down markers for interesting stuff. Okay. I think head home. See what that radio uh, message is about. Maybe it's something important. And then... I guess I'll just have to build with what I've been uh, given so far. Unfortunately, I don't have the foundations, but I do really want that big room done. I want some building done in this episode at the very least. All right, back home and I am going to start this uh, storage room, I think, if I can. So in theory, I want to use these lockers if I can. Um, don't know how it's going to go, though. <laughs> As I don't really have a plan yet, I'm just kind of doing stuff and seeing how it's going to go. Um, but yeah, these lockers should be really good for storage. At least better than the wall ones. I oh, need more titanium. And that is in fact why I'm making them, because I need better storage for all this titanium. There we go. There we go, and when you go inside, it has a very big storage capacity. For now, though, I'm just going to dump everything. That is not something that I need right now. And we will get back to it. And then we have a radio transmission. I'm listening to it in here, not in the scanner room, just because I'm afraid the power might run out in the middle of it. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Let's hear it. This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communications window. Oh. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just going to have to meet us halfway. Huh? Blueprints to the ship's computer. Run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. <laughs> My box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky Bruh. I'll just take the, the regular. Come on now. Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be... If she doesn't, just tell her the regular. Seriously? Okay, the code. regular, uh... regular. I have to come all the way back up here. The code should be 2679. The regular 2679. Okay, would you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. What a serious rescue mission. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, um, I guess that hints in towards... What's that? Oh, I guess it's just a tube thing. Uh, yeah, I guess that hints us uh, towards... We actually should go towards the Aurora. It would make sense. It has um, gone boom boom. And I guess it should be fine. Okay. There is one thing that I want to do here, and that's actually removing this tube, which is going to be absolutely painful. I just added all the all the drawers in here, or all the storage, but I want to deconstruct this. Okay, and then build it out in this main central place thingy. And then deconstruct this multi-purpose room. That's one thing I like the, about this game, by the way. You... You, you get to basically not lose stuff if you build something and then have to, like, get all your stuff back, if that makes sense. Like, when you when you deconstruct something, you get everything back. That's very nice. But yeah, I'm gonna get all of this, move it out, and then basically remove this tube, because I don't feel like it's, like, has a use here. So I'm gonna do that to begin with and get some more base structural integrity thing going. All right, this is empty, this is empty. I think I can go ahead and do now. I'm just going to go ahead and save real quick. We're gonna get out and we're gonna try and uh, do this basically. So we're gonna deconstruct this. So base hull strength is now a total of five. And we're gonna deconstruct this. So it's now a six. I'm very, very, very tempted to look up where I can find the foundation thing to actually be able to add more hull integrity to this because I want to build. <laughs> Let's see what happens when this is actually built like the way I wanted it to be. You don't need to have a bridge in between everything. So that's 4.8. I guess the scanner room in theory could get closer as well without having this bridge here. It would save time, so you know what? Cancel the scan. We're going to deconstruct the radio. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get you out of here. And we're going to deconstruct those just to ju just to optimize things. Because I, I do want things to be optimized, right? Ah, uh, storage container not empty. Are you kidding me? These are too close. 
Ah, oh, bruh. I can place it anywhere except up to it. That doesn't make much sense. I'm so confused. So what, I did all of that just to find out that I couldn't actually place it that close or something? That's weird. Well, uh, now I'm missing titanium. Okay, but like I said, I am uh, I'm learning uh, this game still. <laughs> so, oh no, uh, exchange power source. Ooh. Okay, I should have a battery. I think these works. Okay, yes. Phew. So I just need to make normal batteries to charge tools. Okay, I'd forgotten about that part. Okay, I guess scanner room is now back to being operational. This is a lot of titanium to move around. I'm very happy that we're going to be spending a lot of it today. But this is too much titanium. Okay, I think I'm getting somewhere. So I haven't actually done a whole lot of progress in general, per, per se, but... I think I'm getting a, a, an idea of how I want this place to be. I think I'm going to look up how where to actually get that platform thing because I, it, I, it's killing me not being able to build. But I'm thinking of having potentially um, a path going out here, a path going out that way, maybe to a reactor or a plant area, most likely plant area. Over here, maybe a vehicle area or something. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go ahead and build as I go. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't. I don't believe it. It's, it's right here. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna take a moment, get some food, right? Gotta get, gotta get some food, hunt a little bit, and uh, yeah, get some fluid intake, and then, then I'll be right back with you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's try this then. So foundation, I'm gonna put it right there because we're going to be building in this direction. And that should increase hull integrity. Just like that. Oh yeah, that is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, for some reason though, I don't seem to be able to build over in this area. I'm not quite sure why, but I guess it's a good thing we're then moving in that direction. Um, I guess let's add another one there. Or here, I should say. Okay, and... Okay, I really want to make this last room, which means I need to make some plasteel. And if I remember the recipe correctly, which I don't think I will be, I'm going to be needing a ton of titanium. I know that for a fact. And then I need to turn that into titanium ingots, just one. And then lithium. And then I need to go to a place that actually has power. I'm also going to go ahead and build some more solar panels because the bigger the base is, the uh, more power we're going to be needing, I'm pretty sure. So let's just add that for extra effect. Go to a place where I actually do have power so I can make some plasteel ingot. And I think I need two of these for that big room. I ju I'm just very excited for that big room. I don't know how big it's going to be, but it's probably going to be good. <laughs> I hope anyway. You know, this is already so nice. Nothing is organized, but just having this array of just storage right next to the fabricator, it's such a huge deal. Like, it's so... It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing is what it is. One thing I also want to make is these exterior grill beds um, underwater. So I don't know if we can actually make these in here. It doesn't look like it. But we are able to make them out here, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, so we can grow things like, I think, those mushrooms and stuff like that, but never mind that. Let's take a look at this large room. So we can connect it like this, which I think is kind of cool. Okay. We can also turn it around like this kind of thing and connect it like that, but I don't think that's going to be ideal. I think like this. And then maybe we put it um, here. Here. Let's try here. I don't know what this is going to do. Okay. Now, just out of curiosity, I can connect it like this. I'm going to. I'm going to. And then I can take this and extend the foundation to add even more all integrity. I love this. <laughs> okay. Now that I've actually gotten around to actually learning 
Oh, I need more tit. Do I need more titanium or lead? Okay, I need more lead. Okay, that's fair. But yeah, now that I've actually gotten around to actually learn this game. Ho, 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 this is cool. I don't even know what I need a large room for. Like, I actually don't know. It may be a complete waste. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I can, I can. Oh, you can. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, we could have a reactor in here and everything. Ooh. Um. Right. I don't even. Ooh, indoor grow bed. Ooh. I feel like I, all I'm saying is ooh right now. <laughs> I'm discovering things for the very first time. Um, like, I don't know how to actually organize this or anything. Why do I feel like I want a bioreactor? Okay, before I can have a bioreactor, which is probably going to go somewhere, I need a planting area. And for that, I feel like I need a multi-purpose room for that. So let's go ahead and make sure that I have a ton of titanium, which I definitely don't know where I would possibly get that much titanium from. I mean, that is a mystery that we will never solve. So I want another multi-purpose room connected like this, I suppose. Maybe. Hold on. I'm going to reverse that. Can I make it a glass room? Multi-purpose room, multi-purpose room, glass dome. Oh, in it, in name lead glass. In ability. So, <laughs> I don't know how to actually get that. Oh, stop. Yeah, I don't have that. I don't have that. I guess we'll just put in windows. <laughs> guess this is fine for now. Yeah, I feel like plants gonna have to go right there. Maybe, can we add windows here? Maybe outside. I want to add windows. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Let's add, like, a window here, if possible. Boom. And another one there. Boom. Okay. And exterior, interior modules. There we go. Interior grow beds. This I'm very excited for. I don't think this room is going to lead to anywhere else, so I'm thinking just plopping these down. Oh, and then we could actually see if the seeds are actually working. Ooh, good stuff. And what do I need? Titan. Am I really burning through that much titanium? I am burning through that much titanium. I am a little bit in shock. <laughs> I don't quite believe it, but I'll take it. I'm very happy about that. Now, I can't really put any in there, but I can put a couple of pots in. Alright. I didn't even look what these actually cost. <laughs> uh, I guess like a titanium or something. Two titanium. Okay. Let's add one of the, one of uh, one here and one over here maybe. Yeah. Oh, I like building in this game. This is fun. Oh, and look at the power. is It's at 150 capacity. Not bad. Okay. I'm pretty happy with this. I can put stuff in the planter. Let's go ahead and get those seeds that I put in the in the pod. And tell you what, I think they're rotten, all of them. If they don't work, I will even go to the island to get some. Because I think it's that important. Right, planter. I'm going to put rotten lantern fruit in there. Uh, it's gray. I don't know if that means that it... Uh... I don't know if that means it's growing. I mean, I see a little thing there. Which I th think is it. I think it's growing. I don't know how to get this into a seed, though. I don't want to consume it. I want to make it into a seed. Okay, if you know how to actually turn that into, like, a seed or something. Because that would be really cool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> keep picking it up. I want the seeds for it. I want the seeds for it. But it doesn't seem... Oh yeah, it is growing. Look at that. Okay, that's very awesome. So we can actually start growing stuff. Okay. What is something else? I saw something else that I really wanted to try out. Oh. Hold up. Oh, it's purely decorational. Well, let's add it here. 
Yeah. I saw something else that I really, really wanted to try. Oh, yeah. It was this. A, um... Not a base attached air pump. I wanted to go ahead and make this thing. A... Oh, I don't see it. There we go. Floating air pump. I really want to try and make that because maybe... We can get rid of this very annoying sound. I don't know if that's how that works, but I'm gonna try it. I'm running out of titanium, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's a first. Um, equipment, floating air pump. Oh yes, see? That is the sound I wanna get rid of. Need some pipes, I think, as well. Titanium for that. Okay. Let's see if we can attach this somewhere. Or I guess it would be floating above the base here? Maybe? I don't know how to... Oh. Just like that. Okay. Uh... Number five. Um... <laughs> I don't know where I'm attaching this to. <laughs> like, I, I don't know where I'm... Here? No? Okay. Well, I just found out that uh, apparently I don't... I can't use that. Or don't want to use that. And I can't use that for the base. And I think... I didn't even need that. Like, I didn't even need the one attached. The, the base automatically generates its own oxygen. Oh, that is very cool indeed. Okay. Uh, so, let's go through this. We have indoor growing stuff. Very cool. Wait, I might remove some of these. Uh, we have indoor growing stuff. Very cool. And then, we have storage area, new crafting area. Okay. And then this big room. Which, I don't know what I want to do with exactly. I feel like a bioreactor would make sense if it was there. Then... Hmm. But I don't know... Like, how it would all work out. Like, if I had a wall here... Why would I place a wall there? Since I can't place really one here. Oh, I can. I guess I could then put a door here, and that wouldn't make much sense. So I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, having a bioreactor, I feel like, would be cool. I don't know how much the solar panels are going to produce. Maybe I can add some more onto here. I might actually do that. There we go. Three solar panels are now in position, which means the power is now at 225. Very nice. And now I am missing... I'm missing some lead, so I can actually continue that. And also, I want some outdoor growing beds. So maybe I want the hatch over there leading out to maybe something like that? Hmm, do I have more lead? I had an el enough extra lead to actually go ahead and continue finishing this off. I don't think I'm going to get much further with the base building. I think I might add a few windows to this big thing. Ooh, actually to the pipe. I want windows to, to this. I know it's going to decrease overall integrity, but I think that's fine. I don't think I can actually attach windows to this in here. That's fine. Yeah, I think I'm at a place where I'm pretty happy with this. So we have the storage. I still need to organize that. We have a very big room, potentially for a bioreactor and other stuff in the future. I do know that I also have, like, office chairs and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Probably want to make something with that. Maybe we can do that in there. A very cool growing area. Maybe we can expand that to have something outside here. Remove some of these, maybe. Um, this is growing nicely. This is growing nicely as well. I think in the next episode, I definitely want to go ahead and... I want to say explore more, but I don't know where to explore. I guess there's the Aurora, but I really want the vehicle bay. But maybe that is at the Aurora. Let me know what you think. Should I just go out in a direction and uh, see what happens? But I might look up... At, actually, hold on. I might look up where to actually find the mobile or the, the vehicle bay. Because once I have that, I need to be able to recharge and repair that thing. If it's at the Aurora, we'll go to the Aurora. 
Okay, so without getting any spoilers, I don't think it's at the Aurora, so I kind of want to explore and get that and also do some mining because I am starting to run low on certain resources like copper and such. So I'm going to probably do a little, potentially going to do a little bit of preparation off camera, get some water, get some food, uh, stuff like that, and also maybe research if I can potentially get better inventory space. I'm going to leave the radiation helmet behind, I think because I'm going to be needing as much inventory space as possible. But I think, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. Not a whole lot of progress. Creepy ghost stuff happened, which is interesting. But we now have an indoor grow bed. We have a very big room, etc. I am very happy, and I'm very looking very much forward to the next episode, where we're going to be doing more exploration and mining, and then we'll be going to the Aurora. One thing that I found out, by the way, though, um, let me go to this thing over here real quick, is that I should be able to repair the Seamoth. Oh, yeah, with my repair tool. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's very good. Uh, I still need to... Um, I still need to charge it. And it's at 50%... Uh, it's at 50% power right now, but... I think that's good enough. Maybe. Maybe good enough. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Enable those notifications so you don't miss the next one. And speaking of which, I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day, rest of your day, and goodbye.